Hey guys, so this is an old comic of Logan's Run that came out, this is from 1976. You could see the art is from those old time comics and this is the Marvel version of the story. Logan's Run is a cool story, it's about the future, it's about there was basically um, everyone that lives in the future lives in this kind of like underground city and people only live till the age of 35 and then they go through this carnival thing where you know they they that that's kind of it for them after 35 so they like everyone's a kid like everyone's really really young in these things so that's the story of Logan's Run and Logan's Run is about people that are running away from that and they're trying to find you know the rest of the world they want to get out of there and and they, they want to find the rest of the world and where's the world and what's happened to the world you know so this is the story of logan's run and this is a comic book from 1976. so i just like i've had this for a while and um i i got it i mean i got it it was a, a probably in the 90s i think in this these um and um this is really awesome and the thing is about the story is it's the Marvel version of the story. So everything, it's sort of the same world, it's sort of the same version, but it's a little bit Marvelized and you could see like this. This is cool because they don't really make comics like this anymore. And I'm going to show you like the difference. First of all, this was January 1st and this is like, it says here 30 cents. So this is when like comic books were 30 cents, you know, so yeah. Um, and um, here is like when you open it, it's really interesting because it's a time capsule. It's so interesting because you are gonna see some stuff in here. Whoa, look at that. So the first thing is, this is the bionic battle. And this is when like the bionic man, the $6 million man was a big thing. And there was a TV show on that and there was this whole story going on, $6 million man. And they were like, I think these are toys of the $6 million man. And here it is, it says it right here, Stan Lee presents Logan's Run. So this is Stan Lee's version of Logan's Run. So if you guys already know the story of Logan's Run, this is the same world, but it's Stan Lee's version. And I'll show you how it's different. Like you can see the different, the art is like classic old time art. I don't know who did the art on this. I It does say in here, uh, but it's Stan Lee, so it's one of those Marvel people. And the artist is George Perez. And the writer is Jerry Conway. Okay. And as you can see, like, the art in here, the panels, the colors, the art, this is just, like, exactly what comic books used to look like back in the 70s. You know, before they changed. And right now, they're very, very creative. There's a lot of different ways comics look. But then every, like the next page, you get a bunch of crazy commercials. And for example, um, I don't even know what some of these commercials are for. You know, like it's just, I guess you have to read the thing. Uh, a lot of these are like fitness commercials, like to get, to like pump up and get muscles and stuff. Um, here's one that says like, make money, sell grit. And I don't know what that is, but I think that's a, a, a newspaper and whatever. Um, and then they go back into like more of that art and more of the story of um, of Logan's Run. These right now, if you get them now, you could probably get them from collectors, but they're expensive. In the 90s, these were like $8 each and they started at 30 cents. And they were eight bucks each, each floppy in the 90s. So now they're way harder to get. And um, it's like, uh, I don't know, there's a bunch of the stuff in here, like, look, free advice to help you get ahead from a university. And they want you to, like, cut out the little thing, mail it to them, and they send you books, I think, about stuff. How to draft, banking, finance, stenotyping. They give you, like, they, 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 they teach you, you know, useful stuff. They can make money from it. Real interesting. You know, there's some really cool stuff. Like that's the dude, that's a dude that's in the story. That's the carnival. I think it's called carnival or something like that. And then there's like more art. The art is cool. 
but it's interesting like reading art what looking at art from back then and the, what the comic books looked like back then and like they, they'd had these pages where like it was just these pages were just like it, i mean they were just like you know of stuff and like an atlas body in seven days how to look like atlas in seven days like how to have a, like how to look like a bodybuilder in seven days amazing um and there's like more of these like really cool i need to see like up close it's pretty cool i mean the art is cool and then like every other page is a commercial and and you know this is more this is like the first one i think they were like i have like issues one through six and i think there was more than that and what's interesting is if you like um logan's run and you like the logan's run world and the story this is an interesting comic to read and not only is it like an old comic from back in the day but um look look logan's letters here's another one superheroes assemble it's just like very very marvel like very you know like one page of comics one page of commercials and i guess like that's how they made money back then because you can't really make money selling comic books for 30 cents so you got to make money on putting commercials inside the comics and uh these are just nuts i mean some of these are just so there's more of the story as you can see this is like really um you know very very close to the story like that's an actual she wears that pendant with the onk on it um real interesting here and uh interesting stuff look at these these are all like advertisements for stuff to do stuff here is this is advertisements about learn karate for free and there's uh bunches of stuff just like monster size monsters seven feet tall whatever you know it's nuts uh, let's see what else and then there's more like story so i i really do what i when i'm i've been looking through this and i do think the story is good because even though it follows the story of logan's run it tells it in a marvel like original way it tells it in a different way it's a comic book you know so you kind of it's a comic book kind of form that you're gonna like for the content of the story and uh you know and it's 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 really interesting it's not a lot like seriously like you know you might pay a lot for these for these floppies but you don't get a lot of value you might read this in like 15 minutes the whole story you know and then you're gonna pay like a huge amount of prices for that here is number five and i'll show you the art on that one that's pretty cool and i guess this is weird because they they're they're like shaking an american flag so i don't know because like the story's not about like the american flag at all it's about the future and there are no countries there's just this underground city where everyone lives but i guess they got out of the city and they they went around and they realized that the world has been destroyed and then there's like so there's like an american flag there whatever is you know whatever's left of the flag uh you know it's crazy but they they, they start you know they, they just basically bring that information back to the people in the city and they rebuild the whole world after that and that's amazing that you know um but uh as you can see like it is more like more of this old style stuff um prizes isn't that something like i think this is like if you sell enough stuff enough of their products you get these prizes these are great for getting kids to like do this um but I'll show you more of the stuff. Um, here is more kind of Logan's Run art. Um, let's see what, it's just like really, really cool. Like different uh, panels and things like that. And uh, here's an interesting one. This is like bodybuilder for $5. You can become a bodybuilder. <laughs> uh, I guess that was big back then. I don't know. I guess that was the beginning of like a lot of bodybuilders and stuff. That were going on here's more of the story you know uh, and uh more of the art and it's basically like the same kind of art uh, this is how to become a locksmith <laughs> there if you're like you know this is basically the same kind of art as uh 
Here you go, more art there. And uh, it, it's just like good quality art, but it's, it's very, very super bodybuilding course, how to become a bodybuilder. Uh, it's, it's very, very stylized, it's like a very, very old style kind of art. But what I like about this is that it, it does, it tells the story and it's a little bit, even though it's the same story and the same things happen and um, you know, everything is pretty much the same. They, they, they take it to another level. They, they tell more of the story than uh, they, they expand the story to tell more of it. Here's like how to kids can make extra money. <laughs> uh, they tell more of the story in this. So it's an expanded story. There's a lot more to it than just, you know, than, you know, so, so than, than just what, what they had outside of the comic. So when they, when they had more like, these like bunch of these ads and um, it's not a lot, it's not like a huge amount of content, but what's cool is that it's like, it's, it's a little bit original and it's a little bit like, you know, it's drawn up. It's more of the story if you're a fan of it. Um, I don't know if they've ever made like the trade paperback for this. I think this is only avail available in floppies. You know, so you want to read this. It's only floppies that you can read. That was uh, issue five. I only have like issue six. I don't know if this is the last one, but it wasn't. And I think there were more issues to this, but I only have like those three. I might have more, but I don't even know. And it comes around. This is the bunch of stuff. That's the robot that was in the original story. Uh, it's interesting how they, they kind of mix up the story a little bit and they make like the ending in the second story and then there's more story. Uh, you know, it keeps on um, going back up and stuff like that. And then you have like more of this kind of art. This is really nice. Um, it's really good if you're a fan of the story. Uh, it, the only thing, the only downside is that it just, even though the art I like, even though it's like stylized to how the art was back then, um, I, the only thing about it is just the, the amount of the content. It's just not enough content in here. And it would be nice if there was more and for the price you're paying for these comic books, um, you really have to be a fan of the story to actually, oh, what's interesting about this one is it actually has another Marvel story on the back of it. So this is the, you know, the, the Logan's Run story goes up to here. And then on this side, you get, um, you get another Marvel story with Marvel uh, characters and Marvel uh, people and stuff like that on the back of it. So you get a bonus Marvel story on the back. But th then again, it's only for a few pages. It's not like, you know, it's not a huge Marvel story. It's only for a few pages. And um, it would be nice if they just put more Logan's Run story instead. You know, go. Um, so yeah, see that, all right, cool. So uh, let me know, guys, if, if you've ever read these stories, what you thought of these, uh, these little like Logan's Run um, comic books, these little floppy ones, what you think of the old art and, um, you know, just any thought you had like when reading these or, or if you want to write, read these, um, let me know. Uh, please like and subscribe and um, I have more videos. So I'll see you in another video and take care and see you later in another video. Later.